views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Millionaire Imprint for Women. This new radio show is about imprinting wealth for women, inspiring women of all ages to heal their karmic debts, to transcend the shame of poverty consciousness that women have lived with for centuries. It's time for women, for you, to have a new relationship with money, to radiate wealth from the inside out. We are creating a ripple effect, empowering millions of women to claim their inner wealth. Join Cornelia on the Cornelia Stephanie Show at Transformation Talk Radio. Are you in? Oh, yeah. I love listening to that intro. Every single time when I hear that intro, I'm always like, yes, I'm in. And I hope that you are too. It's wonderful to have you on the Cornelia Stephanie show today. Let's talk about money. Is 2020 2020 going to be your $100,000 year? And what will you do with $8,333 per month? I predict that 2020 is going to be the best year of your life because of the choices that you make today. According to research, women entrepreneurs are starting businesses twice as fast as men. The stakes for women are high. Being seen, being heard, and marketing their businesses is central to their success in the new world. Yet many women entrepreneurs struggle with asking for what they need, which includes selling their products or service. In a Harvard Business Review, businesses with receipts less than $100,000 per year, they are less likely to fail. And this show today is about not letting this happen to you. That's why I invited my guest, my friend, and my colleague, Susan Axelrod, to have this very important conversation here today. Susan has 30 years of working experience with individuals who care about the world. Susan is an intuitive strategist. She helps people feel good about themselves and create purposeful connections in areas of deep abiding interest. Susan helps clients get conscious, get clear and confident to live in purpose and legacy fulfilled. Susan's brand includes enthusiasm, magician, a transformer, and a nurturer voice, a champion of people. Above all, authenticity is her hallmark. Using these brand attributes allows her to work easily and quickly to help clients on the path to the greatest success. Susan Axelrod helps people connect to that place of personal deep yearning to live a calm and best life. Straight talking she is and no no nonsense. Her intuition and quick wit have been helping people to get, get it on with her in her coaching work for years. Now using her own life experience, her own trials and successes, she weaves calm and joy into her written works, motivational speaking, presentations and coaching. And she will get you laughing, the best balm for your soul. After you get your soul connected and acknowledge you're wanting to make an impact in this life, she will inspire you to give back, give more, and give now. Philanthropy, love of humankind, is her tool. She encourages others to reflect, find their own personal passion space, and then commit to taking action now. Welcome to the Millionaire Imprint for Women, Susan Axelrod. Cornelia, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am touched. I am elated, excited, and looking forward to this discussion today with you. 
Me too. And I wanted, I just want to say something else about you. This is my own personal knowing about you because I've known you for a short amount of time. And I have absolutely fallen 100% in love with you. Oh. <laughs> in, in, not, not in, in, in a, in a, I get it. No, I feel the same. But, but I absolutely 100% love you. And what I love about Susan, what I love about you, Susan, is that you appear in your authenticity to be fearless. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what, you show me what you mirror to me. That's how I see you. And what I mean by that is that I see you taking fearless action to be authentic to your vision and to be authentic to your dreams and your uh, vision and your work in the world and what it is that you teach. I see you do that because I also know as a coach myself, as a master coach myself, I know that we come up against our own limiting beliefs during the time when we take big risks. And when we take big action, we have to, we come up against our own limitations, but I see you moving beyond those limitations at the speed of light. And I see you being on the leading edge of being out there in the world, teaching, leading women and men, and um, showing what's possible when we play full out. That's what I see you do, Susan. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. You know, Cornelia, one of the reasons that we love each other is that we have, you know, in our connection, we allow each other to be who we are. You know, the biggest obstacle that most women and people, but most women face is that facade. And I have watched you. It's funny. I'm, 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 I'm surprised at what you're saying about me and deeply grateful. I feel, you know, I have watched you and I see I honestly, my eyes are closed for our radio listeners. My hands are open. My heart is open because I see what it is that you're doing to help women break through this facade that, that created, that, you know, came up and was created around us. So this, uh, it is an authentic language that we speak with each other. I want to let you know too, in that vein, I feel emotional at what you're saying. My soul is coming up, but let's get to this conversation today because I've been learning from you. We need to talk about money, Cornelia, and thank you for being the one to bring it to the conversation. Well, I'm so glad that I invited you to come on because like right now, especially it's crucial because, you know, 2020 is literally right around the corner. And this is our time right now to lay down our foundations on what it is that we truly want and desire and how we want to live our lives. And so that means we really have to raise the bar and up the game. And when I created the Millionaire Imprint for Women, It's interesting because the structure that I laid down for the Millionaire Imprint for Women is the same structure, the $100,000 structure to $8,333 per month is the same structure that I created for the Millionaire Imprint for Women because I'm a millionaire in creation. Right. And I knew that me creating the millionaire imprint for women was going to because I wanted to show my authentic path while at the same time, you know, collaborate with other women, which is the the new way of the future, because we're not in competition with each other. We are here to collaborate and show what it looks like when 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 women gather and when we support each other and when we put, you know, our money where our mouth is, because when women have money and when we're educated, when we're smart with what what it is that we're doing now, then we can really truly uh, create greater impact. And you have a key piece in your bio, and that's one of mine as well. And that is to be a philanthropist so that we can give more, that we can impact greater. And that's also part of my mission. Mm. So the, 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 the amount that you, you know, for the $100,000 a year, 8,333 per month, what would you do with $83,333 
per month because that's the structure for the millionaire imprint. And that is actually my blueprint that I set up. And I, to me, it doesn't matter how long it takes for me to uh, manifest that and make that a reality, but that is my blueprint. And so, yes. wow, right? Right? Yes, I will tell you a few things. Number one, there's a spiritual belief that when you give, you receive many fold exponentially when you give your time and also when you give your money. I have been the personal recipient of this. I give freely. I watch it uh, in you too. I know you role model this as well. I give freely so much in my work. I give philanthropic contributions and then I see, you know, I get a new client, you know, so there's a spiritual belief that if you, when you give, you receive exponentially. Number two, um, you know, whether you take away a zero or add that zero, the goal is to understand this structural breakdown. We're going to get to that a little bit later. Um, but Cornelia, I love what you say about the, you know, you're on the path to $83,333 a month. We'll talk about what that is. And, um, you know, the real, the only thing that matters is the secret. I'm going to give it now in case somebody has to go, what are you going to do with that money that you have? That's the secret. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, and that's going to be so great because of the greater the great impact that we can have because we've learned as spiritual beings that we really don't need a lot. It's not about having so much and it's not about consuming. It's about sharing the wealth and and it's about supporting other people. It's about what you said, the giving piece. But before we go, Susan, to listen to your money story, because that's what I want to ask you in segment two. And ladies, I really encourage you to, you know, make this time right now. Stay with us and absolutely stay, stay involved in this conversation with us. We'd love to hear from you. So, but what I want to share is this is part of what we've had to overcome. And this is the story of one of my clients. She wrote this to me and she, you know, when I was working with her on money coaching, this is what she told me that she had to overcome. And so I'm going to share this and then we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to listen to your money story. And that's, um, but this I think is a really important piece for you, the ladies that are out there that are listening to this. And when you listen to this, maybe you can identify uh, this is also part of your story because we've all had stories that we've had to overcome from the past and we are not our story. We are so much greater than where we came from. And so this is what one of my clients says to me. My father took my mom's house from her. He got her car repossessed when she was pregnant with me. Her first husband had left her enough money to pay off her house, and she bought a new car and had extra money left over for a cushion. When she married my dad, he made her sell the house. He used the money for himself, buying a truck for himself, and he would leave her for days and weeks at a time with no money, no food, and no resources. One month before I was born, she was foodless and moneyless and had to borrow money from my older sister to be able to survive. All of that energy being absorbed by me in utero. And that is the opposite of what it is that we are manifesting today the storylines from the past and now we're going to take a break and we're going to be right back on the cornelia stephanie show and we're going to listen to susan axelrod's money story we'll be right back have you ever wondered if there's a way to heal the deep hidden inner issues, wounds, beliefs, and traumas. The journey into spiritual healing engages people in all areas of their lives to heal themselves and others. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Dr. Jaffe brings conversations of healing of body, mind, and spirit as he merges the excellence of traditional medicine with the beauty of spiritual healing. 
For more information about Dr. Jaffe, this show, and his work, visit drjaffemd.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. Do you want the knowledge and wisdom to understand where spirituality, science, and psychology intersect? Then join the Karmic Path Radio Show with Tina and Laura on TransformationTalkRadio.com Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Follow this charmingly, disarmingly dynamic duo as they explore how psychic ability, spirituality, and karmic law tie together. For more information on Tina, Laura, and their groundbreaking work, visit TheKarmicPath.com. Our angels and animals are always working for and around us. Darcy Pariso knew from an early age she felt this incredible presence that was confirmed for her in a Reiki Level 1 course. From then on, she has honed her skills and dedicated her talents to providing answers, inspiration, and tools for people to move past limiting blocks and past traumas to truly live a life of happiness. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. To find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and we're talking with Susan Axelrod. Susan, before we went to break, what did you think of that amazing story that I shared with you about one of my clients? I don't know what to think, Cornelia. My heart broke right in half. I I mean, I, I just, all I did was in that moment, I was listening to you. I just tried to breathe and send love to, you know, that person, those people, and my heart just breaks. That's why I'm here with you today. (laughs) That's it. And so I want to hear about your money story, because I know that there's so many of us that had to overcome our own inner uh, financials, right? With our conditioning that we were born into. And I want to hear about, about your, uh, your story. Tell us about it. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Um, I just want to thank everyone who is listening to this show today This is important stuff. Thank you for being here. I want to ask you right now to please share this show. We need women to hear these messages. So my story is unusual. I grew up in privilege. I'm not talking about uber wealthy, you know, privilege. I didn't even know that I grew up in in privilege because it was just my life. But when I met my husband, we were in college then, you know, my then boyfriend, and he grew up in a different way, you know, um, in, in, in a life that wasn't quite the same as as mine. My father was a high level executive, um, global executive, and his was not. And so, because we met when we were nineteen years old, um, very in you know formative years, I um, suppressed my personal you know upbringing story. Um, money was not talked about in my family. Thank God we were so lucky that it was not. Um, I guess there was not lack. And so it wasn't paid attention to. 
But what happened to me as I merged, you know, my husband and I met when we were 19, we're not 19 today, as I merged together with my husband over five years of our developing relationship in the early years of our marriage, I took on, not because of my husband, I'm not saying that, but I just took on, I formulated what I now know to be scarcity consciousness in the contrast of our financial stories and our financial lives and the you know weaving together of that. And I developed this fear about spending money. Um, you know, my husband was getting a PhD. I worked in the nonprofit uh, sector, so we did not have a lot of money ourselves. Um, and so I just began to evolve in those early years of my life with this scarcity consciousness as I came to understand it. And I had a fear. I now know it to be a fear. Then I just thought I was being smart or conservative or there were, there was a reluctance, but I developed this fear around spending money and, you know, or spending money that I didn't have. Um, some many years ago now, 25 years ago, um, 20 or more years ago, um, I was introduced to prosperity consciousness, the idea of prosperity consciousness. And so I began to focus doing exactly what you're doing here, Cornelia. I want our listeners to understand. I've, I listened to your show. I've heard you say, we must talk about money. We yeah. must think about money. We must take responsibility for our financial lives. That is how we grow our financial well-being. And so I had my own journey of coming from scarcity consciousness into prosperity consciousness, but I still hit up against blocks because there was more breakthrough to be had. I want our listeners to understand. I want them to understand what I'm about to say. The breakthrough was to abundance mindset. So prosperity consciousness in the way I practice it, in the way I teach it and share it is about financial health and well-being. It's about knowing your numbers. It's about being responsible in the way that Cornelia is teaching us to be to your numbers, but you will still be in lack and scarcity if you don't develop an abundance mindset, what is that? What Cornelia just said, here's the perfect example. Please listen, please share. When Cornelia just told us there is no competition, that is the ultimate in abundance mindset. Cornelia and I, we don't compete with each other. There is enough. There is enough. There is enough. And Cornelia, that is the evolution of my money story that um, allows me to authentically be able to have this conversation today. And um, I practice what I preach. And we're going to share a tool about that later. But that is the evolution of my money story. Wow, it's a beautiful story. I had no idea that you that you were uh, brought up in well to do, you know, in a well to do uh, uh, upbringing, and that um, that you you weren't like my story was completely different because I know in, in poverty. I know I've heard I've heard you share it. You know, so it's it's really um, it's really amazing to be able to again. Choose what it is that you really want to live and realize that we live in an abundant universe and we absolutely, it's our divine birthright to experience the abundance that's there for us so that we can make a better, build a better world. And I, you know, the, your uh, slogan of build your legacy, leave your legacy, which I absolutely love. And it's done with each and every choice we make each and every day, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And that's exactly what I teach. You know, yes, every single person can have a legacy. You don't have to be rich. You have to want to. And every choice you make, and that's why we're talking about money today. <clears throat> One of the things I didn't say earlier was, that the evolution of having more money allows you to invest money in yourself, your business, your growth. And so, yes, that's exactly right. Every choice you make is what leads you 
to leave a legacy. Yes, and it's crucial right now. It's crucial that we choose, especially as women. When, when I opened up, I talked about that the stakes for women are high. There's still so many women that go to bed in the middle of the night when they go to bed and they wake up and, you know, and they are, you know, consumed by debt. And they're worried about not not having their financial life together because they're still giving their power away and, um, you know, to, you know, their spouses or whatever. And there, there's the elephant in the room and we're not talking about money. And that's why we want to make sure that we talk about money, that we love and adore money and the freedom that money can give us that that that. Uh, the lifestyle that it can give us, but also the impact that we can have in helping and giving and supporting. Cornelia, I just want to say this radio show, The Millionaire Imprint for Women, offers you listeners the opportunity to bring it forth, bring it forth, bring it forth, bring it forth, keep it in front of you. So if you can stay tuned into this show, you have a a built-in opportunity for it to be in front of you, for it to be affirmed for you. And, you know, to, to help listen to Cornelia's words. I did. I listened to the show to help to understand the words of how it can lift you up and support you in the way that you are looking to be supported. Yes. And, you know, when, when the Millionaire Imprint for Women was born, it was my higher self that guided me to, to, to go ahead and, and, and set this up. And uh, the, the hashtag was hashtag millionaire me too. Mm. And it was that it was part of uh, because it was all part of my soul's path. It was all part of my the work and then collaborating with other women to educate and support everyone in order to, you know, create the empires that that we want to create and live. But we have to be able to not have any shame in our game. <laughs> we can't we can't feel bad about our money or we can't feel bad about our stories or where we came from. We have to really bring it all into the light and talking about it, you know, from the place that you and I are talking about it today. And like you said earlier, everyone, we encourage all the listeners today to share this show. Share this show with your friends and with your family and people on your social media and everyone that shares the show Susan has a gift and I also have a, have a gift. What's your gift, Susan? So my gift is so fun. It is a download PDF of, of prosperity, consciousness, affirmations. Financial freedom can be yours. Yes, it can. So I will be sharing with you 12 affirmations, one a month for you to implement your new abundant mindset and prosperity consciousness. So that's when you share the story, you get that, you get that gift from Susan and you'll get from me feeling your way into wholeness, uh, also shifting and changing your relationship with your abundance, with money, changing your feelings, changing your beliefs, changing, uh, you know, how you feel about money. And that is also available to you. So it's a free ebook that I wrote back in 2012 when I changed my own money story and I will make that available for free for anyone that that is willing to share this on social media with everyone. Comment and like and share on our YouTube, on the YouTube channel. Let us know what you liked about this and, and, and you know, engage with us, talk with us because we really want to hear from you. So Susan, let's take a break and when we come back, we'll, we'll go further into, you know, breaking it down, making it practical, making it real. We'll be right back on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Talk Radio. 
Do you want the knowledge and wisdom to understand where spirituality, science, and psychology intersect? Then join the Karmic Path Radio Show with Tina and Laura on TransformationTalkRadio.com Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Follow this charmingly, disarmingly dynamic duo as they explore how psychic ability, spirituality, and karmic law tie together. For more information on Tina, Laura, and their groundbreaking work, visit thekarmicpath.com. In the 70s, Dudley and Dean Evanson traveled the country in a converted school bus with their growing family, documenting the new consciousness that was emerging. Through this adventure, a movement of sound healing was born. Now, Soundings of the Planet is celebrating 40 years of peace through music. Listen to their music for free on all streaming services. Search Dean Evanson to access their expansive catalog on Pandora, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, and YouTube. Visit soundings.com for more info, their blog, podcast, Quieting the Monkey Mind book excerpts, free downloads, and more. Learn and explore fascinating and practical uses of essential oils, how to use them, and how they can enhance your everyday life. The Oil Lounge was founded by three remarkable women with fascinating stories about how essential oils changed their lives. Tina and Laura from The Karmic Path have joined forces to educate the masses in the benefits of Young Living Essential Oils. For more information, visit theoillounge.com. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I'm talking with my guest, Susan Axelrod, and we're talking about what would you do with $8,333.33, I think it is, per month. What would you do with it? This is what you're going to tell us right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is the most fun thing. So... Here's what I want to do. I want to invite our listeners to take a breath, take a breath, stretch your body up, open up so you can really hear. So all together we can receive. We can receive the abundance of our being here today, sharing this on the radio with you. $100,000 a year. For some people, that's not a lot of money. For others, that's a lot of money. And so we're walking a line here. You need to decide for yourself where you are, okay? Our job, my job here today is to help you create a structure in your mind to understand how you do this. So add a zero or take away a zero, but the the job right now as you breathe and imagine your prosperous abundance is to understand what we're talking about. So $8,333 a month equals $100,000 a year, okay? That's what that number is. If you earn, well, before taxes, of course, if you earn $100,000 a year, then every month, you're getting, before taxes, $8,333. So that's the place where I want your mind to fall, to land softly and be cushioned to understand what that number is. You can work however many hours you want to for that number, or if you elevate, 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 you can work few hours for that number. But that's what we're talking about here. Okay, what is the work? What is the income that you generate? How do you generate it to get to that number consistently every month for 2020 to be your $100,000 year? So I want to ask you, listener, are you with us? Do you understand what we're talking about? This is vitally important. And I learned this listening to Frederick Lehrman. 
1999, I think it was, he created a CD set called Prosperity Consciousness. And he was my mentor in this. I can't tell you how many times I listened to this long, complicated CD set. So, but I, my work is to make it simple, to break it down so that you can understand really how it is you can get that. So what is the work that you can do? We have another tool we're going to be talking about when Cornelia gives me the green light on that. But for right now, it's $8,333 a month before taxes. And what is it that you are going to do to generate that money? Now, let's just talk about the millionaire imprint for a second. $80,333.33 a month. You want to be a millionaire? Do you? Most people are like, yeah, I want to be a millionaire, right? They wish they were a millionaire. They think about being a millionaire. They watch shows about becoming millionaires, but they don't understand what that means. Yeah. So we are here today sharing the imprint with you. That means that you earned or generated $83,333 a month. So my question for you right now is, what do you think when you think about $83,000 a month, every month? What do you think about that? I learned to understand that that's finance, not cash. Once you elevate into the $83,000 a month category, you're in the world of finances. So you might want to learn a little bit about investing. But here's what I just said to Cornelia in the break, and this is what I want to say to you. What would you be doing with that? Most people have no idea at all. They just, I'm making air quotes, want to be a millionaire. That's it. But I want to tell you that if you don't know what you would be doing with $80,000 every month, every year, it's not going to find you. Now, Probably, you probably can figure out what you would be doing with $8,300 you know, $8, a month, right? You have your rent or your mortgage, you have your food bills, you have your daycare bills, you have you know, expenses for your business, you, know, you have braces to pay for. There's a lot of things that you can pay for with $8,333 a month. Okay, but we're also want to encourage and infuse, and that's why we want you to share this so we can grow out this idea. Yes, women can be millionaires. And as you think about being a millionaire, what would you do? For example, I have a dream which I've already begun implementing, I'm not waiting for anything. I have my own philanthropic dream to give away more money. A lot of people know the reason I work and I charge my prices is so I can give money. So I'm crystal clear. You want to ask me, I'll tell you, I got it written down. And that's what we want to encourage you. Create your own millionaire imprint. Yeah. So Cornelia, do you understand? Do you have any questions to help me clarify that? No, I totally understand. And I think it's really, you know, this, it's important to know what would you do? Because there is, there is a, in, in the book, Ask and It Is Given, I think Esther and Jerry Hicks, they, ha they have you doing this exercise. And I've done this exercise back in the day when the book first came out of actually writing the checks, writing the checks, you know, and that's also my dream is to, to give the money away. I'm, and I'm already living that because I've got people all over the world that I'm engaged with that charities and organizations that I want to give to that I want to work with, you know? And so it's, 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 it's good to know what you would do with the money. But today we're talking about $8,333 per month. How do we make that real? How do we make that real Susan in 2020? Okay. Here's the tool. So I want to invite you uh, to grab a piece of paper and a pen. And don't worry, this show is recorded and podcasted so Cornel on Cornelia's YouTube channel. So don't worry if you miss anything. Grab a paper and pen. We are in September. We are talking about the portal closing of 2019. A portal, an entire decade is closing and a new portal is opening. Your portal of prosperity, your 
portal of abundance, your portal of wealth. And so that's how we want to be thinking about this. But very simply, I want you to make on a piece of paper, this is my high tech stuff, Cornelia. I'm showing for the people who see us on Facebook, just write down my budget and make a circle that looks, that's going to be, look like a pie. It's going to be three or four inches in diameter. That's all. And on the page, write my income. Now, what I, I implore you, please understand the benefit of having multiple sources of income. For women, please understand if you have a job and you lose that job, you lose your income, right? But if we have multiple sources of income, a few or many if you want, then if one dips down a little bit, another can go up. If you lose one revenue source, you can have, you have others. That is your security. That is your stability. Now, what are the multiple sources of income? Maybe um, each one is going to be a pie slice. So for some people, there may be, here, I'm writing it down, a pie slice that's 25%. One thing that you do might generate 25%, two, four, six, eight, about $2,000 a month, right? There may be multiple slices. For most people, they have a job. And it's 100% of the pie. We want to encourage you. Many people today have that side hustle going on, right? Multi-level marketing. They make crafts and sell crafts. They do dog walking as a wag walker, whatever it is. There may be a thin slice of your pie for that, right? It may be, it may be like another thin slice of the pie where you're doing a side hustle or some extra gig to generate income, right? Maybe that's a few hundred dollars a month or 500 or whatever it is. This is your financial pie, your income pie, okay? This is your visual. It's simple. It is completely simple. So we want to encourage you to do this exercise. If you have one big fat pie, 100% coming from a career paycheck, good, I'm happy for you. But maybe you want to think about what is a way that I could create a little slice of additional income or many slices doing various things. So Cornelia, how did I do there? Did you get me on the income pie with the multiple sources of income? Yeah, I love that. I love that exercise. It's simple. It's easy to do. And you gave us a good visual of what it is that we need to create for ourselves if we want to, you know, follow this blueprint. So I, and I really, I really like that. I'm going to be using this tool in my Wealthy Roots uh, for Women's uh, call. I'll be sharing this with the women there because I think it's a wonderful way. It's a wonderful visual. So thank you for that. Now, did I also, so that's one tool. And then the other tool is to write down what you would do with the money. So those two things, right? Right. Those two things I heard you say is write down what you would do with the money and uh, have the different sources of income, 25%, you know. Exactly. These are two takeaway folks, two takeaways. Number one, if you don't know what you would do with the money, the money isn't coming to you. So please know what you need. Be responsible because the other pie is the expense pie. Okay. Yeah. And the other, the other takeaway, sorry, the other takeaway is the being responsible for the structure of your income. Yes. Yes. I love that. I love that. So uh, we're going to skip the last break, Susan, okay. because I, I know that we just have, it's amazing how fast it goes by. I, I, I want to be able to cover everything we want to cover. Now, um, you are offering a course. Let's hear about that. Okay. So thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about this. You know, enthusiasm is my hallmark. So, and this is such important stuff. So I am offering a course where I do talk about this. I work with women in the second half of life. My course, my radio show is called Discovering You Again Radio with Susan Axelrod. And my course is by the same name, Discovering You Again. And I am launching another version, another 
offering of the course. It's starting September 19th. And we start with the vision for how you want your life to be in 2020. And your financial life is part of your bigger life. The information can be found right at the um, bar at the top of my website. The easiest thing to do is find my website, whatwillyourlegacybe.com, and the announcement bar right at the top. You can click there. Yeah, that's wonderful. And everyone, even including our colleagues that are watching this show, Please share this information with your network. Please share this with your family and your friends. And uh, be sure to contact us. Now, uh, you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com to get the free ebook on how to change your relationship with money. And Susan, where can they access your free gift? My email is susan at confident-life.com, confident-life, because that's what I am. I am a confidence coach. But you can find me on Facebook under Susan Axelrod. I hang out there every day. I have a daily live at five Facebook show. You can find me there as well. Yeah, and Susan is on Transformation Talk Radio, so you can find her there. And so I'm just so thrilled that you came on with me today to have this very important conversation. Now, so, let's, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, if, since we went, we skipped through the break, I was hurrying up. Would it be okay if I just um, take another minute or two on the tool? Of course. Okay. Because we want this show to be the show. We want this to be your millionaire imprint hour. And that's why we want you to share this show, okay? So let me just see. I want to just review the tool one more time. You have your your goal, your aspirational goal. You want to generate $100,000 a year. What does that mean to you? What that means to you is generating $8,333 a month gross, okay? You have to pay your taxes, et cetera. That's what it means when you say, I want to make $100,000 a year. So now you know what you need to generate or earn every single month. So I ask you, how are you going to do that? One of the ways you do that is, first of all, you need to know what it is you're spending the money on. So you can make an expense pie the same way. I have, I have two of them. <laughs> one is for expense and one is for income. So you definitely need to know what you're spending money on against the money you're bringing in. But we're really focusing on generating income today, earning and generating, okay? So there's different ways that you can do this. And this is the thing that I really want you to understand. In my prosperity consciousness work, I first learned, then I apply, now I teach that there's many ways to generate income. You can walk people's dogs. You can help out your elderly neighbors. They have some money. They just need the help. There's all kinds of helping ways that you can generate extra income. You can examine your own gifts and skills. I call it your light. What light can you share and sell? Do you have something that you can create? Do you have something that other people need? Do you cook? Because if you cook and you're a really good cook, um, you can just have your friends understand, not generate a business, but have your friends understand that you'll cook for them and they can pay you a little something and they would be happy to get a home cooked meal meal for their dinner, uh, for their family's dinner. So that's another little slice of your pie. And that's prosperity consciousness inside the abundance mindset of there is enough. People do have money to pay me a good value for my worth, for my service. And all you need to do is open your mind and get creative about different things you can do. So now let me ask you again, Cornelia, am I being clear? Are we, are we, are we good? Do you understand this? Oh yeah, I totally, I totally understand it. And definitely for the audience, if there's somebody that doesn't understand or if you have question, comment on the YouTube channel when, when you're listening to this later, 
comment and Susan and I will be happy to respond to any questions that you may have. We want to engage with you. So feel free to shoot us any questions, anything like that, that we can help you to solidify your vision even more because it is of our best interest. It's all of us. It, it, you know, that we're all thriving in our abundance. It's our nature. It's in our integrity to be so and do so. It does not, it doesn't do as well if we are in poverty and if we're poor. And so ladies, I'm asking you now, don't raise your children to become another poverty statistic. You know, raise them now to claim their inner millionaire, not to be consumers and to, you know, consume, but to really impact and give and come up with the solutions that are there that will impact our world. And that's yes, yes, yes. What Cornelia says, <laughs> Cornelia, there's one more thing. Do we, I don't know how much time we have, but I have one more thing. May I share it? We've got time. We've got time. Okay. So everybody, I want to ask you to take another breath, open up. This is so important. This is so important. It's really, really important. Okay, take a breath. Okay. One of the things that I learned, a tool I teach it, I do it in all my work, is visualization. Visualization. Please understand that when you, as you grow in your prosperity consciousness, you leave scarcity consciousness behind, you grow an abundant mindset. One of the things that can support you is seeing. I say, close your eyes and see first. Close your eyes. Of course, I teach open your eyes, but that's something else. But close your eyes and see in technicolor vision what it is that you will be doing. Cornelia just told us, we're not talking about money so you can consume. No, we're talking about money so that you can help give. Exactly. So that you can be one of the people to take care of the others and, and, you know, to support the, the ailments of the world. That's why we're talking about money. And so visualize exactly what it feels like to have that money in your account, to have multiple slices of your pie and to have your pie growing bigger. And that's the expansion and that's the exponential growth. And visualize what you would give to, like Cornelia just shared her dream with us. I know it's already in progress. And that is, I give to support causes around the world that move me. And so we, Cornelia and I, we're not waiting. When you learn the secret of already being in progress, you have $10 to give, give $10. You have $100 to give, give $100. My giving, I never imagined that I could elevate in my giving this way, except for the spiritual message. The more you give, the more abundance you receive. And so that's really the last thing. So we had the one was the structure. Know what it is that we're talking about. What does even $100,000 a year mean? $8,300 a month. What are you going to do with that? Know what you're going to do with it. Number two, the pies, a very simple low tech tool that you can use to show yourself in real time what it is that you're generating. And number three, visualization. Visualize what it is that you want to be doing with the money. Literally close your eyes and visualize. And then when you're ready to open your eyes, you will see more. Cornelia. I was going to say that the people that comment on the YouTube channel, on the Cornelia Stephanie YouTube, that comment on this show, yeah, that 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 right comments. We're going to pick a number from the comments that are going to come underneath, and somebody's going to win a hundred bucks, and somebody's going to win a hundred dollars. That's what we're going to do. So, are you in, Susan? I'm in. I'm in by half. That is all right. So now you now people listen up. A <laughs> hundred dollars a lot to you. If it's not, think again. And if it is, then please comment. Money flows freely to me. There it is. It's just waiting for you to pick it up off the shelf. Susan, give us your website information again. 
Yes, my website is whatwillyourlegacybe.com. And right at the top of my home page is the announcement bar where you can click on the link to learn about my eight-week course, Discovering You Again. I talk about all these tools and it's launching on um, September 19th. And you can also find me on Facebook under my name, Susan Axelrod. I'm there every day, hanging out, having a ball. I'm so glad that you are in the front lines and on this planet, um, sharing your enthusiasm, sharing your message and sharing your gifts with the world. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you. I look forward to having you on the Millionaire Imprint for Women again. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in, for liking, for sharing, and subscribing to the show. We'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for being part of Creating Wealth for All Women. Every Friday, you benefit from the experience of women who share their financial wisdom. This movement is not about accumulating wealth. It's about being paid doing what we love being able to invest in the things women are passionate about. Our new collective story is women are powerful with money. Becoming financially literate is the key to your empowerment and financial freedom. For more information, go to corneliastephanie.com.